The Michigan Department of Education has decided to make a big change in the course of college entrance exams. As opposed to the ACT, which has been used in the state since 2007, the department has made the decision to switch to the SAT. We talked to Superintendent Scott Graydon and students about their thoughts on the switch. The decision was a, was a shock, I can tell you. I think everyone assumed ACT was going to win the bid. Um, and so when it was announced last week that SAT won it, it really did come as a surprise to not only uh, folks around here, but across the state. According to the information we've gotten from the Department of Education is that the uh, SAT came in $13 million less over a three-year period than the cost of implementing the ACT. So I think that group and that eight-member panel felt that the savings warranted the shift from an ACT to an SAT. Whenever there's a change, you lose kind of the ability to track trend data. Um, it is a different assessment, and so our ability to really look and see where, how our students are doing on the ACT over time, over multiple years, um, we lose that. And I think that's something that is going to be a challenge for us to really think about what our instructional impact has been. The issue is it's a three-year assessment process now, so we know we're going to have the SAT for three years, and so our ability to really understand the test, make sure our students are well prepared for the test, um, is going to be critical, and we really need to get working on that this fall. According to the Department of Education, reasons for the switch include the belief that the SAT is more aligned to Michigan's content standards. Michigan high schools have already worked with the College Board through their AP programs, and the switch will save the state over $15 million. So what do the students think? Um, I think it'll be beneficial for the younger grades because they'll be able to use their scores from the PSAT to help them prepare for the SAT. No, because a lot of students take prep classes for the ACT, and that kind of messes with the whole system of like preparing and stuff. See, there's already an ACT prep class, and people here have been training for the ACT. That just screws things up. I mean, I guess it's a good decision because it'll better test their knowledge and understanding. According to the Detroit Free Press, the ACT has written a letter of appeal on the department's decision to administer the SAT. The department is expected to make their final decision on the switch later today.